Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, please let me know in the comments. And if you are watching the recording of this, please feel free to drop a comment and let me know uh, how the message resonates. Awesome. I have a Taurus in the building. So I'm looking for the Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And I'm pulling um, all the cards right now for all three sets. So that's why it's taking me some time. And Danae, you can go ahead and start pulling for your uh, fire signs, right? You're doing fire? Yes, our fire signs. Let's come on. <laughs> awesome. Okay. I have all the messages for the signs. Here we go. This new moon message is for Capricorns, Capricorn sun, moon, rising. We are going to give you a message with this new moon Aquarius coming in on Friday, February 9th. So pay attention. Let's see what you can expect for the next two weeks. Capricorn, you're going to be so happy. You're going to be so happy because um, it is happening. The changes are happening that are going to be very happy for you. It's about your home life and it's about your career. We have Ace of Air, which is new ideas, new inspirations coming in. You know, you guys are busy. You're productive. You love to work hard and you might have hit like a stump recently uh, from the beginning of the year. But the Ace of Air tells me new beginnings are coming in and uh, the challenging situations that you've been in are going to clear. In fact, it's going to clear so well. You have Eight of Fire. The Eight of Fire card is about fast movement and delays being over. So if you've been waiting on that money to come in, if you've been waiting on those business opportunities to kick in, guess what? The next two weeks under New Moon Aquarius, it's going to fantastically kick in for you. You can expect to see a rise in your career, in your success. You can expect to see money coming in. You also are going to have a very happy home life. Ten of water. This is relationships um, moving to like a new level of deepening, a contented and rewarding family life, emotional and material needs getting met, trustworthy relationships. So over the next two weeks, Capricorns, what I feel for you guys is that things are just, you're going to go back into your busy zone. No matter what the delays have been, all right, you're going to go back into your busy zone. So congratulations, Capricorn. The new moon Aquarius looks really good for you. Okay, let's move into Taurus. This message is for Taurus under the new moon Aquarius coming in on February 9th. This is your energy Taurus, sun, moon rising for the next two weeks. We have the two of earth. You're going to be super busy. Lots of things happening. And the message is a reminder to take a break. Don't overwork yourself. All right. You got to have some play time. You also get the queen of earth, which tells me that as challenges come up, you're not going to be so stubborn in wanting to deal with them. You're going to be dealing with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. There's also some level of abundance coming in as well, Taurus, for the next two weeks under the new moon Aquarius. And you have new opportunities as well. You have the page of fire coming in. The page of fire talks about some sort of exciting new endeavor coming in that is going to require you to use your originality. So this can be in the creative arts. This can be being creative at work. But the idea for Taurus is I feel like you're just really going to be more grounded in your career, your work life. And you also are reaching like a mental, emotional stability that allows you to relate to people in a kind and understanding manner. All right. That is the message for Taurus under the new moon Aquarius. And finally, rounding out our earth sign, we have Virgo. Do we have any Virgos in the house? This is the message for Virgos under the new moon Aquarius over the next two weeks. Virgo, you have an ending coming the world card. The world card is a card of endings, but it's in happiness. You feel joyful about this ending. Now, four of water is moving. It's, it's the, the feeling of discontentment or not feeling so happy in your emotions. And then you have the king of water, which is trustworthy relationships. Virgo, the new moon brings you an end to your sadness. That's the best way I can say it. You've been sad about a particular person or a relationship. Things haven't really been going your way. 
but we have a joyous ending coming in for you guys. And the king of water tells me that this person that you're thinking about, they might be older than you or more mature, you know, like that kind of old soul energy, even if they're young. But it also tells me this person is trustworthy. So whoever you're on the outs with right now, Virgo, it is temporary. And we can see for some of you reconciliation over the next two weeks on the new moon Aquarius. But we can also see like a deepening of bonds. OK, a deepening of bonds within yourself and with those around you. So congratulations, Virgo. Your relationships are about to get better. That is the new moon messages for the earth signs. I'm now going to give it over to Danae 